What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's The Killer in Purple. As you guys know in the last video, we got eaten alive by Pit Spring Bonnie and we also got to play as Vanny and some other crazy new characters. While well, we're going back in again today because we have some more stuff to try out and I'm on a brand new update once again. I think this is version 1.2. I know it says 1.0 on the top right, but the developer has been sending me over, you know, early versions of the updated game and stuff like that to play through. And from my understanding, from what he told me, this is the last update for the game. So this is version 1.0, the full release for everyone. This is what you guys are going to be seeing whenever it's out and and uh, we're going to be checking it out because if you guys remember in the last video, he mentioned that we could we could play as animatronics in the third person. And he told me to keep the key to press to, to be able to actually play as that. So we're going to be doing that in today's video. We're also going to be checking out the extras menu and seeing what else there is to discover here. Because from what I heard, there's still some more secrets and Easter eggs that we haven't found yet. So let's go ahead and press play and hop into this. Now we got to play as Vanny because apparently their abilities were glitched out last time. And he told me that he fixed them now. So... Let's see if they're actually fixed and uh, play as Vanny. This is going to be fun, though. Oh, we have a 60-second delay. Wait, was it that long last time? I feel like that's a little long, but maybe it was that long last time. I just don't remember. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and start by collecting some children. Hello, guys. Follow me. Now, you guys are all going to the scooping room, okay? I hope you all know that because th there's no point in me taking you guys anywhere else. Like, I mean, for fun, we could I could take you guys to the other suits, but, like, there's no point. <laughs> I don't get any amount of points compared to what I get from taking you guys to the scooping room. All right, so what I want to do is, though, just like in the last video, I want to try to bring all of them into the scooping room, okay? Everyone from InfNAF 2 is following me into the sister location. Oh, and by the way, he told me that I can now mute the copyrighted song by pressing M or something. Yeah, see, I pressed M and it did something. So we're going to try this out and let's go ahead and go down. Oh, look at my shadow on the elevator. This looks so cool. Oh, and by the way, guys, in the last video, I said if you're new to the channel, you haven't already to subscribe if you guys want to see some more upcoming FNAF content. And boy, did you guys subscribe. We gained a ton of subscribers yesterday. So same thing goes for this one. If you're new and you're watching this video and you like what you see in it, destroy that subscribe button right now because trust me, you're not going to want to miss the upcoming FNAF content because there's going to be a ton of it. At this point, I have so much content built up that I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Like, we're pumping out these double uploads, but there's still more to cover. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just stay tuned to the channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and get them all on the elevator. Come on, guys. Everyone in. And we're going down. All right, that should be plenty of them. Oh, and while you're down there, also hit that like button if you guys are liking this series. But only if you like the video, okay? Hit that like button. Don't like the video if you don't like the video, all right? All right, what do we got here? So, I can press Q to put on the mask. Um, okay, so let's try out. This is apparently the ability should be fixed now. So, let's see what this does. So, Q. Oh, dude, did you guys see what just happened? Okay, you guys caught that, right? The parent just disappeared. The parent just, just, just gone now. So, you know what that means. Okay, so, if we wanted to, we can make all the parents disappear with the Vanny mask. And then we could just go to town. Like, we could literally do anything we want to the children. Like, we could just, we could absolutely destroy all of them. We could do it right here in the middle. We could just pull out the knife and just start stabbing. <laughs> I don't even see a camera. So, yeah, we actually could. Now, my timer's about to run out, so we can't do it now. But we could if we wanted to. Oh, look, yeah, the parents come back fast, dude. They're already back. Okay, so everyone follow me. Let's go ahead and try to get all of them into the scooping room without breaking my game, preferably. Okay, so here's more over here. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I just realized, yeah, the music is totally normal now. Now it's not the copyrighted song. So awesome. All right, so anyone else want to follow me? You? Oh, my gosh. Adios, FPS, dude. Adios, amigo. All right, here we go. Come on in, guys. Follow me. Okay, so I think I got everyone in the, in the, the pizzeria here or the sister location. Let's see here. Hopefully, I didn't forget anyone, because if I did, they, I don't even think I can go back out the door. I'm pretty sure they're going to block me in here. <laughs> Look, they're getting stuck on the door. Are you kidding me? Guys, get in here. Come on. Don't do this. All right, if I close the door, will that fix it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that fixed it. Okay, now open it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wait. I need to be able to close the door behind you guys and not get trapped. Oh, my goodness. All right. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Okay, close that. Oh, wait a minute. Dude, there's one out there. <laughs> there's one. There's two. All right, guys, you know I have to go get them, right? All right, you guys wait here. This might be a bad idea. They're going to be sitting at the door waiting for me, I'm pretty sure. That was an awful idea, but hey, let's see. Okay, so follow me, and then you over here. What are you doing in the corner all by yourself, huh? Follow me. Come on. Oh, parent's in the way, but it's okay, because watch this. Boom. All the parents are gone. <laughs> that is a really good ability if you're, like, early on in the game. I don't know about later on, because most of the time you just bring them into the room, and they don't really see you anyways. All right, how am I going to... Okay, look, guys, the parents aren't here, so you guys know what's about to happen, right? I'm going to close this door. And pulling out the knife. Okay, never mind. Hello. Well, we're just gonna have to discard a few guys. All right, I'm sorry. I wanted to get you guys in the room, but it's not happening. Okay, look, guys, I have a knife. Why are you not running away? <laughs> Run that way. Why are you running towards the person with the weapon? <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Move out of the way, everyone. Oh, my God. No, they're rushing out. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> look at them all go. Close it. Oh, I can't close the door. The police are here. Run away. Run away. Go, 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 go. Okay, how do I want to do this? How close are they? All right. 
Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, dude, they're cornering me. Uh, unstuck. Oh, dude, we did it. Look, now they can't get to me because all the children are blocking me. See? You guys thought the children weren't on my side. Meanwhile, they like this, okay? They prefer to be stuffed into suits and stuff like that. They don't like living, so <laughs> they're body blocking right now for me from the police. <laughs> There's three. What? Dude, they still got me. Are you kidding me? All right, come on, guys. You guys suck at body blocking, all right? What kind of children are you? Okay, let's go ahead and play again, though. Um, let's see here. So we have Ennard, Circus Baby, Malherd, her Vanny. Um, I kind of want to do an Ennard. Because didn't Ennard's ability... We really didn't know exactly what it did, if I remember correctly. So let's see if it has an updated ability. Oh, wait, no. Didn't he switch between Baby and Ennard? Yeah, no, I remember his. Yeah, so you can switch between Baby and Ennard, which I'm honestly not sure what the advantage of that is. Maybe just our voice box changes, like... But then, no, because why wouldn't you just play as Baby, then? Like, why even play as Ener? I feel like there has to be more to this than what we think here, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot, guys. He told me to go into the bathroom. Wait, where is the bathroom? Because wasn't there a ba Wait. Okay, guys, wasn't there a bathroom over here? Or am I just thinking of FNAF? Oh, no, I'm thinking of FNAF 1. Yeah, so he told me to go into FNAF 1 and try to flush myself down the toilet again. I completely forgot about this, but let's go ahead and try that out. Let's press Q to turn into baby, because why not? And let's go ahead and head into the bathroom right here and try this. So I'm a pretty tall animatronic. I don't know how this is going to work, but this is, if I remember correctly, it was this toilet that we would flush ourselves down. It was either this one or that one, but let's try this one. Okay, so flush. Does anything happen? I don't... Oh, no, I thought something might have happened. Oh! Something is happening. <gasps> I'm purple guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, if you guys remember, in the version of the game that wasn't released yet, when the game was still in, like, beta or whatever you want to call it, this was here. And I remember in a previous email, he told me about this. And he said, you can either choose to go into the forest for the same ending or go into the water for a new one or something like that. Hold on. There is no peace for you. After all this time, you can better stay here than try to escape to the real world again. Okay, so I'm going to try going into the forest cuz I think no, that does nothing. I think last time we went into the water and something happened. So let's try let's try that again and see if anything new happens. And if not, then let's try the other, you know, other way of doing things. I think we can go into the forest. Okay, I can go into the water right here. Oh. What are you doing here? You aren't supposed to be here. Oh. Okay, I don't remember this happening. If it did, it was something similar to this, but not exactly. Why do you players always search for secrets? I mean, really, in reality, I just flushed myself down a toilet, okay? <laughs> I imagine most players, you know, don't don't flush themselves down a toilet. Just leave the game alone. It's just for fun. Uh-huh. Or is it? Uh, creepy laugh in the back. I was there from the beginning. No, it, it closed my game. <laughs> I didn't even get to read what that said. It said I was there from the beginning or something. Comment down below what the rest of that said if you guys saw it. But I I'd have to go back and pause it to see for sure. But okay, well, th thanks for that. I think that was the little Golden Freddy cinema icon. Which he's, he has like, his icon's like a little uh, plush Golden Freddy. I'm pretty sure that's who that was. So that's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and load back up the game though. And let's try out some other secrets. Oh yeah, by the way, now you guys can see the little intro if it wants to show it. And it does, okay, yeah, you guys see that? That little Golden Freddy walks across the screen every time he started. It it's the best intro. <laughs> It's really cool. He just comes up in waves and then just keeps walking. All right, let's go back in again. Oh, no, I still have the creepy menu. Oh, yeah, the extras menu. I forgot. Dude, I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, we also have to press tab or whatever it is to uh, go third person. I am forgetting so many things. Oh. Oh, my. What is... What is happening? What is happening? I can't even move. Oh, my. Dude, I can't do anything. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Is it... Does it know I didn't complete the game all the way or something? Hold on. We, we gotta try that again. I, it said press T for something. Press T to show mouse cursor. What? Into the pit? Oh, now I can move! Okay, that was weird. Dude, that thing is so loud over there. Scott, you're so loud. Wait, no! Why does it keep doing these fake errors? No! I'm trying to see! Wait a minute! No! No, dude. Oh my gosh. No, no. Get the get the errors out of here, bro. I wait, you can play as like everyone in here. What oh successfully replaced Scott Cawthon character by Golden. Oh wait, he was like glitching out and it replaced him. I can press OK to this, maybe? X? No. What the heck? So Goldie Dev now has full control over Golden Freddy Cinema games back in the 80s series. Okay, how do I get rid of this though? Oh, and it crashed! What? Oh, I'm so confused by that. <laughs> Is anyone else very confused by that? I don't I don't know what it wants. First, you can't move whenever you first start off. But then if you press T and you click a like a character or whatever, then you can move. 
but I don't know how to get rid of all those errors and stuff. So it's very confusing. So we're just not gonna try that one again because I just, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's bugged or if we're supposed to do something specific, but I'm sure we'll figure it out in the next video because right now, yeah, I just, I don't know what to do. It just crashes my game or it does all those errors and stuff like that. And sometimes it does all of them. Sometimes it does none of them. It's weird. All right, so let's go ahead and play as we did entered. We did Circus Baby, but I don't think her ability was working. It was either her or Glitch Trap. Let's try Circus Baby again. Because I, I remember he told me two of the animatronics' abilities are now working. And I know for sure it was Vanny and then somebody else. But it might have been Ennard. But I, I don't understand Ennard completely. But, all right, let's see here. So let's go ahead and go. Let's try the ice cream again. Because I really wanted to see, like, a scooper thing come out of Baby. But I'm not sure if it does that. I don't remember what hers does, to be honest. We have 18 seconds, though, before we can try it out. But let's try some other Easter eggs. Because he told me there's a bunch more. So I just want to try, like, clicking on everything. Oh, yeah, wait, I remember. One of them was, he said there's a golden... Yeah, wait, where'd it go? There's a golden Freddy, his little icon. You can find it around the map. I kept seeing it, and then I remembered. He was like, oh, yeah, he said that was an Easter egg. So I think if we can find that. Oh, wait, our ability's up. Okay, wait, let's see what this does. So Q, ice cream. Oh, yeah, okay, this is the one that just gives you a bunch of points. All right, wait, did he fix it, though? Let's see. Oh, no, dude, I got spotted by the camera. Wait, I just want to see if it works now. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> run away. <laughs> let's just find the golden Freddy icon. Just run away, dude. Can I get? No, okay, I tried it. No, okay, move, 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 no! <laughs> they caught me. We're even... What the? Dude, you got me in the wall. Okay, I'm under arrest. <laughs> you got me cornered, literally. I'm cornered. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back in again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do... Ooh, I remember we can play as third person. Okay, so let's do Vanny. Let's try out the new third person mode. And while also looking for that little Golden Freddy cinema icon, because we gotta find out what happens if we click that. Okay, so let's go and press... I think he said it was tab. <gasps> Oh, dude, it looks so cool. I love it. This looks awesome. What? Dude, so we're playing as Vanny. Dude, what? Look at this. You can just run around the pizzeria as Vanny. That is so cool. <laughs> so this is Vanny right here, if you guys didn't know. And uh, she's been leaked basically everywhere, and everyone else has shown her off by now. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm showing her right now, because she got leaked a while ago. Like, a while, I don't know, like four or five months ago? And I didn't cover it because, you know, I didn't feel comfortable doing that because, you know, I didn't want to upset Scott or anything like that, or any of you guys for that matter. But now that he's been shown everywhere, well, this is, uh, this is Vanny, or she has been shown everywhere. What a cool-looking skin, though, man. I love this. It looks so cool. What do you guys think of Vanny? Let me know in the comments, good or bad? I love it, though. For the new Glitch Trap Killer, this looks sick. All right, so I found the Golden Freddy icon. So do I click it, or do I flush myself? Because he's, he's right where the toilet is. I don't want to accidentally... Is it? Do you even click this? No, it's taking me back to that other world again. Huh. Well, he did say there was something else to do in here. I thought he said, like, you have to go into the bushes or something. Like, you go into the grass or... I don't know. All right, I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything. Okay, guys, remember how I said we were going to try that old man consequence Easter egg thing? No, 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 no. Forget all that, okay? I was reading the email, and I saw a part that really intrigued me here. He said to go to the office and to press the red phone five times, and something will happen. He said don't... Uh, he's not going to tell me what will happen, but something will happen. And I think he said I might have to reset my save, so we're going to see if I have to or not and uh, go from there. But he said just go to the FNAF 1 office where the Scott Easter egg was, and apparently there's a red phone there now. And it does something. And he said, I want to see your reaction. I don't want to spoil it. I want to see your reaction. So he didn't want to tell me what it was. Let's go check it out. If the doors are open. Yep, the doors are open. There's the red phone. I guess let's see what happens, guys. Well, comment down below first. What do you guys think is going to happen when I press this five times? My guess is we're going to get teleported somewhere. And it's going to be creepy. <laughs> That's all I got. All right, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? Do I have to press something? Oh, no, I zoomed in on him. Oh, wait, the phone, not him. Oh, what? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, my God. Scott Coffin, what? Dude, what is going on? I don't know what's happening, dude. Where is he? What is, what's going on? Is Scott here? Oh, my, what? The, oh, I see what's happening now. Scott Coffin is a boss fight? What? Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Okay, so I, I remember he said he had to bring the knife. I can see why now. But what, what do I do? Scott, hey, bro, you don't want this, okay? You don't want this knife. I have a knife. You're literally made out of blocks. You look like a Lego, bro. You can't do anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> he can. He can do a lot. That is the most aggressive looking Lego character I've ever seen in my life. That did like 50 damage per hit. And I did like five. <laughs> Holy moly. He is crazy. He is insane. He's so fast. Okay, you know what? Let's play as Glitch Trap. I feel like we got to play as like the ultimate character. It's either Glitch Trap or Vanny. But 
<laughs> this is definitely a fun Easter egg, though. That is so, like, random, but it's so awesome. I love it. That is, that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, fun little Easter eggs like this that just, like, they come out of nowhere, and they don't really make much sense, but they're just fun. And that, that's what makes them so good. Okay, so here we go again. Five times. One, two, three. Or three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what the heck do I do, then? Do I have to, like, sneak up behind him or something? Look at, look at this man. He literally forms right here. Wait, can I... Oh my god, I can't get any hits off while he's here. No, I can't. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I either have to, like, sneak up behind him, or I don't know. I have no idea. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, wait. You can hit him from far away. Oh, you can. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. Okay, so the bottom right, we have a timer. So we can only hit him once every, like, 10 seconds or something like that. Yep, look. I got a hit on him. But you just have to run him in circles like this and hope that he doesn't tap you because... If I get tapped one more time, I lose. Oh my gosh, dude. What do I do? What what do I do? I don't have an ability or anything. Okay, I got him again. Look, 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 the little Golden Freddy thing. Oh no, I'm stuck. No. <laughs> I tried running to FNAF too, bro. I tried and he just, he's too good. <laughs> you cannot defeat the developer, okay? I've learned that the hard way. You cannot defeat the developer. It is not possible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to circus, baby. We're just going to keep going down the list until one of these guys can defeat her, okay? <laughs> Someone on this list can defeat Scott. I don't know who it is, but one of these is guy, one of these guys is like the, the, the secret Avenger, okay? How do I get out of here? Which way is... Oh my... Oh, you scared me. <laughs> I thought that was a cop. I was like, oh my gosh. What? Okay, come on. That's pretty bad, though. We've been playing this game for so much <laughs> that I think the parents are cops at this point. All right, so here we go. The phone. And here we go. Okay, so... I got the knife out. Okay, so how do I do this then? I, I need to run circles, and I wish that delay wasn't there, though. That's the thing that makes it hard, though, because if you could just... Oh, I guess, yeah, if you could just continuously do it, it'd be kind of broken, because you could just take them out super quick. Okay, so one hit, down. Okay, now run. So this is what you got to do, but I'm wondering if there's, like, a quicker way. Like, can I go in here and maybe get another weapon or something? Like, maybe there's something else in here that I can use on him to defeat him or something, but it doesn't look like it. No, there's nothing. Oh, great. He's still following me. There's nothing here. Okay, whatever. Knife. Go, go, go. Oh, run, run, run. Yeah, even if you put it away, you still have a delay on it. I tried, though. All right, we're bringing him into here, though. Wait, what if I bring him into the sister location? What happens? I'm kind of curious. Okay, go. Got another hit. Run, 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 run. I'm going to try to make it to the elevator before he gets to us. <laughs> this is either going to... Oh, he closed the door. He knew. Oh, my God. Where is he? Okay, he's still pretty far away. Dude, this man literally just teleports through tables. He's cheating. <laughs> Stop cheating, bro. Okay, go again. 80. Run, 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 run. See how he got rid of all the doors, though? Because he knew if he left the doors, I'd be closing them on him right now. <laughs> oh, man. Can we even... Oh, he can't even go into the back room, dude. There's nothing I can do. All right. Well, this is our only option. We're just going to have to keep running him in circles, I guess. All right. Knife. Go, go, go. Oh, 75 health. Okay. So, we got him already down 25 health. We've got another 75 to go, though. But we got this, I'm pretty sure. I, I just wish there was a little bit more to it, to be honest, though. Oh, dude. This door actually opened. Oh, holy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 What's in there? What, why is this door open, though? And the other one didn't. Wait, can I close it? Oh, I can. Can he? He can't get in. Oh, yeah. Look. All right. Look. See, I, I'm really good at finding bugs in games. <laughs> I am very good at it. I don't know. I, it's just because I do like the most random stuff. What the heck? Um, Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Is that? That's the version of... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Close the door. Oh, no. <laughs> You're so broken, dude. He is so broken. He gets you in one little corner. It is game over. You're not making it out of that corner at all. <laughs> I mean, I had a good plan going there until I tried to get him through the door and I accidentally opened the door on him. But, you know, <laughs> I feel like we could defeat him for sure. I'm curious if anything does actually happen, though, if you do. Because I feel like probably nothing does. But I kind of want to try. All right. But anyways, we, get, we did that one. Uh, should we try to defeat him? Because if we sit there behind that door, I feel like we could do it. All right. You know what? Let's go back in his vanny. Let's do this. We're going to beat him. We're going to do it. We're going to try to. <laughs> We're going to do one more try on this, all right? So, oh, wait, what if I put on the... Oh, no, we don't get abilities, though. I keep thinking, like, what if we put on a mask or use an ability or something to do, like, bonus damage? But no, there's no way. Okay, move out of the way. Wait, can I bring one of you guys with me? Let's see what happens. Because I thought about that. I was like, what if I play as Golden Freddy and you know, you know how you can, like, teleport a child to him? What if, like... Oh, no, but you can't use your abilities at all. <laughs> that would be interesting, though. Look like a little Golden Freddy icon. Oh, no. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, here we go. Here we go. And we're going to go for one right off the bat. There we go. Five damage already. And run away. Run away. Run away. Okay. So, I, do I want to go in this room and just close the door and do it that way? I, I kind of feel like I do. But right now, it's super easy. So, let's go ahead and get another hit. Okay. Run, no, I'm stuck. I got stuck on the wall. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, though. Like, if you get stuck on one thing, you lose. Because he's so quick. 
Okay, wait for it. And our ability's back up. And 85 health. Run. Okay. No, no, no. Don't get stuck on that wall again. Get in here. Get in here. Close it. No, no. I'm stuck. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a tough one, man. That, that is a tough one. You, you got to get in that room and just close the door. Or you got to just run circles around him for like 20 minutes. And then you'll, you'll be able to take him down, I'm pretty sure. But guys, I'm going to end this video here. So what I'm thinking is, I think we're going to have like, we're going to have like one more video on this game. And then I'm pretty sure we're done. I don't, I don't know. I feel like we're probably missing probably one or two more Easter eggs. And then that's it. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm missing anything major, let me know in the comments if I am. But uh, yeah, in the next video, though, we'll finish off the Scott fight at the start of the video. Then we'll do whatever other Easter eggs we have. And then we're done. And of course, we get to start on all those other FNAF fan games that I have built up. Because like I said, I have a bunch of them to the point where I have like so much extra content that I've been having to do two videos a day and just getting it out there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like rating on the video down below. If you're new to the channel, channel and you haven't already, destroy that subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you're first videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out